your grandson. Have you no shame, madam? Debauching yourself in your father's house and with a common teacher? I am of the king's court, <laughs> and I'm not just a teacher. I'm a bachelor of geography and cartography. Don't bandy words with me, sir. You're a charlatan. Like that rogue Newton who swindled half of Europe when an apple fell on his head. <laughs> Father, I love him. Love him? Him? He can't even afford a decent pair of breeches. I have great plans. It'll bring me fame and fortune. As I'm sure by marrying my daughter. No. What I mean is... No. Of course I intend to marry you, just not now, more in the future. <laughs> if I have my way, he doesn't have a future. Get him out of here. Well, go on! Jonathan, run! Two big fat! Run, Jonathan, run! If your mother was alive, she'd be appalled. <laughs> For you my deepest apologies for my hurried departure. As bitter as it is to admit to you, I have to say that your father was right. It is true that I have spent all of my money, but let me tell you, I've not wasted it, as he wants to imagine, but invested it in my invention. With the help of this unique device, I'm determined to revolutionize the field of cartography with maps that finally show the true borders of the countries of the world. I have decided to commence this grand project right from the heart of our beloved Greenwich, which I have chosen to be the starting point for all my calculations. Someday, our quiet little town will be renowned the world over as the place all time is measured against. This is the dream, but I need you to believe in me. My dear, the impressions of my journey I write in my letters. In order for them not to be read by unintended persons, I encrypt the letters using a mirror, as Leonardo da Vinci did before me. I love you, and refuse to be thought of as some dowry hunter. I will show everyone that that is not true. My news will fly to you by means of carrier pigeon. In this way, when times of great difficulty confront me, I will feel you close to me, and my heart will be warmed. Lower your eyes, kneel down and pray. Be afraid of the eyes of V, the ancient god who dwells in the eternal darkness of the cave. His eyes have taken root in the earth. If a man but glances at him, then that man dies. And no prayer can conquer that mysterious fear. The old folk say so, and their grandparents said so. On summer nights, young girls looking for true love float burning candles on reeds in the water. And if some young man gathers in your wreath, you know that he is your destiny. Since the beginning of time, when the earth was young and the gods were young, this tradition has lived in the hearts of the Slavic people. Burning candles float in the darkness. It has always been so.
daughter. Who did this? Who did this to you? She wants to confess. The one you asked to pray over me. God help us protect us from evil. And there's a student priest from the seminary, Alma Brutus. He'll pray by me for three nights truly and sincerely. He knows who is the she. Look! The wages of sin! One dead and one out of her mind! So complete your three nights of prayer over my daughter, exactly as she requested. And I will reward you. Who? Me? Yes, you. It was my daughter's dying wish, and you must fulfill it. Have you ever felt a whip crack on your skin? No, it is not something I want to happen to me. Then do not fail me. I'll pay you a thousand gold coins if you succeed in this. A thousand gold coins? You will not be allowed to fail me. Master Sarkin. Lock the door. He stays here for three nights. Please, dear God, hear your humble servant and forgive his sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh Lord, our Father, dear God, embrace us all in your faith and the hope. thousand gold coins blessings for you we could we could build a monastery with this no that's homeless fee now leave and prepare everything for my daughter's funeral let's get it done soon but you know Banach can bear me, but three nights I've had the shit scared out of me. Master thought I was but still a witch. <laughs> Two months, Paisi. What have you got there? It's from Sotnik. It's the fee he gave to home. I've never seen so much money before in my whole life. The key. Light 
Listen, the chalk circle. We can never go back in there again, Master Sopnik. Curse. There must be a devil of sorts. This is a cursed place. We must barricade. We can't leave my no daughter. Sin upon your soul, don't go in. Think down of yourself, but your people, they need you. They need you. Please don't make this sin worse than it is. In the name of the Father. Travels have continued for a whole year. Today is the first day of April. If spring takes so long to come here, what awaits me further east? Thank you, Nelly. Oh. Really, my lord? Which? Harry a pigeon now, is it? Eh? Papa, please look at me. Oh, God. <laughs> I'll kill him. Luck accompanied me, but now it has turned away. I have not eaten for several days. And I have none of the resources left necessary for continuing this journey. And alas, I have lost my path somewhat, which is now patently clear. Seminary. Students? S -s Seminary, uh huh. <laughs> what about some food to eat? Uh, to eat? Uh, yes, to eat, uh huh. Yes, it's to eat. Here's some new friends. So, you're a scientist. Ah, we're scientists. I'm Gorovitz. I study rhetoric. And he's a theologian, oh. Halyaba. Right. Is the city far? No, but there is a village close by. Hmm? Oh, yes. Oh. It's close. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't send an enemy there. Uh, why? Around a year ago, a friend of ours was there with us and suddenly vanished. Scientist? Yes, a scientist. Philosopher. Homo Brutus. So, about a year ago, me, Homa, and Halyava passed through here on the way home for summer vacation. Either it was the fog or maybe the devil spun us round, but we completely lost our way. Stop that! Have some mercy, Grandpa... er, Granny! I thought the Lord was supposed to provide for you. Charity! Charity! Stop that racket. Enough now! All right, then. Come inside. Remember how this goes? Sir, oh, please buy some food. <laughs> that witch wanted me. She tried to grope me with her filthy hands. All women are witches. 
And the market women? Gorgeous. So, Granny, it's a fasting week. I couldn't sin against the heaven. Not even for a thousand gold coins. Oh, don't, don't, don't. You're too old. You're too old. Think it's funny? All right then, you listen to me. You just vanished into thin air. Let me taste a bit of that. Ah, certainly. Huh? It's our best from Hortica. What do you think? It's not bad. Unlike the village where hell's evil is all around. That's definitely not good. Evil that not even our Lord God can stop. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, with this symbol of our Lord's majesty, we complete the circle. Ah, so we are prisoners in our own village our prison. <laughs> Merciful Lord, please help me to protect my children from these devil spirits. And let them know nothing of what is locked away in the old church. Show me a sign. Be my shepherd. Show them the misery that is awaiting if they do not choose to listen to me. Are you convinced now? You said that the uh, the, the monster had nine horns, uh, nine great horns. Seven horns, seven. Let's go, let's go. Run! If you're going on, it's without us. You overslept, you witless idiot. That's a funny story. Hey, Colleen.
made from fire. The horses' heads were like those of lions, and fire and smoke. <laughs> And here is the sign! A messenger sent from Satan has pierced our circle! What kind of messenger of Satan is he if his knees are knocking together in fear? You know, I just passed with a good scrub. Sotnik. He's alone. There's no one else. A servant of Satan! What's all this noise? The devil's scripture. Jonathan... Green. Jonathan Green? Yeah, yes, 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 Jonathan Green. Scientist, C cartographer. I am the subject of Her Majesty, the Queen of England. Recently renamed the United oh, Kingdom. No. It's a pleasure to meet you all. If he's the best his country has to offer, <laughs> we're in terrible trouble. <laughs> Looking through my spyglass, I could well discern leaping savages and their frantic gestures. I was sure they were preparing themselves for a terrible meal of Are human you flesh. <gasps> this is the latest story by Mr. Defoe. It's about the adventures of Robinson Crusoe. Of all the great writers this country has produced, you choose to read him. <laughs> what, madam, is this? Father, please give it back. It's from him, isn't it? Hmm? Cease any contact with that worthless specimen. I demand that in my own home there is nothing to remind me of the wretch. Why, Father, you are forgetting that this wretch is the father of my child. Oh. You never thought that perhaps at this very moment he is somewhere surrounded by savages in deadly peril on some desert island. Savages? Island? What island? It is the biggest continent of them all. You're Mr. Jonathan, I am a cartographer. Green is in the middle of that continent. A continent? Have it in my eye. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Um, I have some very important equipment damaged in my carriage. It's vital to me, you understand. It's, um, it's the fifth measuring wheel. It measures distance. The wheel? Yes, sir. Ah. A blacksmith's good at making that kind of mechanism. Oh. Just look. He made a contraption that produces gorilka. The buds are so clear it looks like tears. Yes, I'm very well aware of what gorilka is. But it's not that. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mechanical thing. It's a mechanism. Ah, same shit. Did I invite the commons in? It's me, Taras. Well, here, I brought you a British customer, a scientist. A scientist? Yes. Look at his carriage. Hey, what do you think of this? Ah, an impressive rig. Yeah, it moves and turns on its own. Think you can fix it? It wasn't made by God, so yeah. No, 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 no. Work at Dutch Masters. The Dutch Masters, you say? <laughs> we'll try this. Well, Master Scientist, remind you of anything? Eh? Oh. It's like the drawings of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, I have no idea what the da Vinci is, but I do know how to make it fly. That I know. Will it? Yeah. 
Look to land, not so much. But first I invite the master no. scientist to my house to eat. It's Paris. been a long time since we had a foreigner around here. shielding him. No, that's not why I called you here, father. It's been a whole year since my darling daughter died. Let's have her funeral at the old church tomorrow. My men can clear the road in no time. I didn't hear that. Don't think it. That road is closed. I waited nine days, then 40 days, and now a full 12 months. Pray to God. Patience alone is nothing. There's one thing I still don't know. What was it you saw inside that church? Petrus! Petrus! Yes, Mr. Sotney. What's this? Read it to me. It's a map of the area. Uh -huh. Go and bring him here, that uh, scientist. Well, but quietly. Shayla, push me to the dunker. Shayla rises. Excuse me. Hello. Are, are you deaf? Good? All right, we're not speaking. That's fine by me. At least tell me your name. delicate saplings the devil has brought me. Would you like me to rub your back when you're dry? Uh, thank you, but uh... Hey! The other students like it. <laughs> <laughs> Spare us. Of course. The old woman, Romabut, this is where it all happened. Uh, oh, oh, hello. <laughs> if you're taking a flight, you should rest first. Is there a problem? Hmm? Master Sotnik would like to talk to you. In secret. Shh. Father, tell me what is wrong. Sotnik won't stop asking questions. <laughs> it has been over a year. He's thinking of ordering his laborers to clear the roadway. <laughs> I'd like to know. Which of his laborers he thinks is willing to risk his skin around this cursed place, huh? village is gladly short of heroes. <laughs> Outsiders, then. Master Sotnik, the scientist. Master Cartographer, do you believe in God? How to put it? I'm a scientist. That means you don't believe in the devil. Uh, no. Uh, that's good. I want you to make another map like this one, but put the church at the center so I can see all my land. That's good. I must tell you that uh, it'll take time to um, complete. For a thousand gold coins? Where is Satan's messenger? My guess is he's holed up at Hannah's water mill. Here, for a start. 
I'll need uh, an assistant. I'll get you one now. Begin at the old church. Let no one see you. Master Sopnik, the path is clear. We should go. <laughs> Talking with Sopnik. Not a word to anyone. It's better for us that way. So, if Father Paisi is right, let's go see. Where's the scientist? He is here, Master Scientist. <laughs> Let us pour some garilka for our honored guest. Trust me, you've tasted nothing like this. Smells good. Everyone? To us. Yes, to us. To us. <sighs> so what science do you do? <laughs> Look, Benash, you're talking like you're an expert. And scientists. Well, I've heard there are some who stare at the stars. Yeah, what kind of science is that? Stargazing science? I know what I'm talking about. They stare. They stare at the stars through glasses, like this. Huh? 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 <laughs> ah! oh, yeah! Hey, Taras, this is empty. Trouble. That's what we got from the last scientist. He changed our village. Not for the better. He was a philosopher. Hama brute. Brutus. Tell me how you happen to know Homer Brutus. He's well known. Everyone knows that name. He's known all right. Master Sotnik had heard the name of a seminary student in our village, a student by the name of Homa Brutus. Oh, please let him go. Dorosh and I deliver Homa to watch over Sotnik's daughter. Dogs were barking, wolves howling. ministry in the name of the Father and the Son Amen What sort of a priest would I be if I was afraid of a corpse? Oh, I wish I could smoke in here draws me to her. Even in death, so beautiful.
Listen, where is this church? Mm -hmm. Tell us why do you want to know? Well, Master Sotnik and I were thinking of maybe, you know... <sighs> Forget it. It's nothing. Chalk is the most important thing we own. Draw a circle around you, and not even the devil can touch you. Or a witch. All women are witches, and they have small curly tails. Who's that fool for, Dr. Dr. Simon? Are you going to the swamp? Is that true? Well, Not it's all superstition, legends, imagination. Maybe not in Europe, but here, all women are witches. <laughs> It's supposed to be a song. Stop tearing your throats out. What? Don't like it. Too bad. Who do you think you are giving us orders? And since whoa, when whoa, are whoa, you whoa, in whoa, charge? Whoa, whoa, Let me go. 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 No, no, no. Don't go. Shh. You're just getting started in here. Don't spoil this. You're in sulfur. Was there any evidence of Homer's fate? Evidence? Here it is. Evidence I saw with my own eyes. But thanks to the curse, I have only the one now. My other is gone. Now, now listen to the rest. It's always scary the first night. scared now. Help me, Lord. Help me.
see him. Where is he? He's under the table. My ears must be clogged. He kicked my head. to run. You 
do not carry a cross, but when your scientific reasoning fails you, you hide behind the chalk circle. Do as she asks. Find out who is in the sheepskin. Help her find her way. By doing so, you will find yours. Ah, Master Scientist, Master Sotnik, he is uh, very angry. What's become of the scientist? Huh? He's gone. So he packed his things, ran out of the village, and ran off. <laughs> that foreign scientist, Satan's messenger, has gone to the Forbidden Church. Speak up, little one. What's going to happen to us, my father? Get ready. Save us, Father Pelley. Gather the people. Save us. What are we going to Why do? Why the hell do you think he went into the forest? Sniffing for your treasure. Well, it's really not funny. What if he goes inside the church? Then when Sotnik asks, did you happen to see the thousand gold coins meant for Homa, the ones I dropped in fear? Oh, yes. I saw you. You took them. I'll hold it close, just as any confession. Go. Master Scientist, you can do as you like, but I won't go in. Some assistant, eh? Look, at least hold the rope for me. Do I have to? Patrus! Hold it tighter! I'll look round this swamp. Well, you go and check out the church. I'll buy you some new reins. And a saddle. Here goes. We have enough for everything. Look at this. <laughs> Look how much money we've got. Hold it tight! What am I doing? This is crazy. There's nothing to be afraid of.
Patrus! Call my stuff up. I'm gonna spend all day here. You just stay there. Let's get to Vergo. Find it. I can only suppose that it was the shock of the last few days and my body's tiredness that so completely distorted my first impressions. They remind me of pirates. <laughs> Have I frightened you, my dear? No, no, my darling. You see, first impressions are sometimes deceptive. him at the old church oh let's get him then sure just as soon as you hide our money right <laughs> <laughs> go tell Paisi, and i'll head to the church to the church and there he was on the roof and Petros was there with him I had Overco stay on watch if a scientist finds anything he'll get a knife in the back well what should our next move be hear me Sotnik while you know this the villagers are ready to act and execute the unholy you want a requiem for your daughter Master Sotnik You'll have it. Wait here and see what happens. This is not a priest speaking with the power to punish and judge you. No, you see a simple servant, that's all. A worm anyone can trust. That's what I needed to hear. But this servant, this worm informs you. Do not, do not seek explanations, for all that's in this firmament is revealed to you. Miracle. Let others say that you live in darkness, that you are ignorant, I say to seek to know all of God's work is heresy. So let go of the false light of knowledge. It does not serve our God. What's wrong, Master Sodnik? Has the truth of God made you uncomfortable? Have you no love for Christ's flock? Yes, that's us, the flock. Ah, Master Sodnik has fallen victim to his pride. And the influence of those who've declared themselves all knowing. You just stay there, Master Scientist. Stay there. Fear the learned outsiders. I see how Satan's army is getting ever nearer. the evil ones from here so that the ground burns up under their feet hallelujah
come down quite so quickly. L lift me up, Truce. Truce, lift me up. Master, I told I don't you this care. place is I cursed. I need my instrument. Just, 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 just I've got it. We need to run away. Truce, let's go. Truce, run away. Run away. devilry here you join them you haven't been there do not consort with the scientists any of you or the lord's curse be upon you get out without my instrument you heard me finish the job you started or be flayed alive You said Ovelko would watch him. Who? He's back again! And he's not alone, he's with Sotnik's servant. Who? Who? Who do you think? Go now and bring him to me. Uh -huh. Who again? Petrus, of course! <laughs> Shut him up or we'll have the whole village on our hands. Dorosh, no. No, get the other ones. What's that? Dorosh, no, please. This isn't funny. Can we talk about this? I, I, I beg you. What, what did the scientist do at the church? Tell us why he was there and what was he trying to find. Master Sotnik sent him to make a map. And the fee was... A thousand gold coins. It's lying around the church somewhere. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <coughs> From now on, you'll report everything you hear to me. Put this on and leave it on. And no questions. Get out of here. I'll run away first. Before I serve you! Find the scientist and don't lose sight of him. <sighs> Let's go and find Roberto. <sighs> What's the matter? What's wrong? Uh, yes, 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 yes. Things could get very nasty, so you've got to run away now. And All I'm right. going with you. You are? I have only one condition. Uh, I'm taking Nasusia with us.
Anastasia. My love. My true darling. My truce. Come on. We'll seal a book. Be ready. Roberto! Roberto! Where are you? your mind over all that money such smart words from a traitor and a thief <laughs> 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 Astucia! Patrons, come here! Astucia, this way! Patrons, go to the dead three. I'll follow you. Where are you going? Roberto, how many times have we saved each other's necks? Look at us now. Astucia! Astucia! Let us redeem our sins and give the money back to Sotnik. Remember the good old days? Just two brothers with free spirits. Astucia! Who's there? Come out so I can see! Lovely pipe, isn't it? I believe it is yours. Aren't you wondering where I found it? Brother? Dumb girl, do you know how lucky you are that you're dumb? Where is it? Where is the money? Give it to me. Come, come on. Here, take this. Don't kill me! She's trying to kill me! She killed me! Oh, oh, Holy Father, it was... 
wasn't Mustusia, I swear it wasn't. I saw it with my own eyes, standing there. I saw the monster with seven horns. It wasn't her. I saw him. I saw the monster. It wasn't Mustusia. It was the but monster. my son, she's a witch. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> You didn't even want the map, did you? It was about your daughter and the way she died. What did you find out? I know what happened to her. You found out who was under the skin? <laughs> Call him the hell down! <laughs> the beast understands everything. Just find out. And I don't care how. You guarantee my safety. And for your information, Astuzia is being attacked. They're working up their courage to kill her, you understand? I'm going to handle this. And right now. <laughs> are you up to? Let Nastusia go. Just look at my arm. You call this sacrilege? And the Roche, my poor brother, was merely cut... You could break her with one finger. She's Banas, a witch! Set her free, now! Not permitted, Master Son. What? Keep back. I have my orders. Whose and orders? I'm not afraid to carry them out. Whose orders? <laughs> Mine. Watch what you say and be very careful. No one heeds your words anymore. Sinner! And there's another of Satan's servants. Grab the sinner! <laughs> The 
see what the bastards have written to me. My dearest Miss Dudley. Now, the wings of the local inhabitants are very similar to those of several species of bat, only that they stretch to a width of some ten feet. What? I felt their rancid breath so close that I could reach out and feel their filthy skin. And can talk like a human being. <laughs> they have hooves. Do you remember the sailor with a limp that you met in the Fort of London and who told us of an enormous squid? Why are you blubbing? It's been so long since I last received a letter from him. Forget him, my dear. He is not worth your tears. Oh, Daddy, please. Uh, so, well, here they have a squid which is ten times as big as six eyes. They call it V. The fellow's obviously lost his wits. If I should not return, search for me in this accursed place. Please, God, let it be so, eh? feeding it, aren't you? Hmm? For how long? The whole year. It's just maps. Papers that can just disappear without a trace. Wait. I didn't make these marks. Look. So, your monster can mark routes on maps. All of Sotnik's power should come to me because you know my heart is burning for it. Oh, I see. You want his money. It's power I need. As for the money... It's for the church. All right. We have to finish off the girl as soon as possible. She saw the whole thing. Listen to me. I want to conduct the execution by the swamp. This way the whole village will be responsible for spilling her blood. Good thinking. And she will be the basis for the snake finder. Monster. I'd like to know who is under that skin. Now we go. Take over the... <laughs> You're coming with me! 
Why are you dressing up, stupid cow? To see a young girl put to death? Come on, let's go. Whoa there. Sit really? down. Such a boy. You witch. Why are you here? I dare not speak of it. Tell me, what's wrong? Pai Easy sprinkled the witch with holy water, and she suddenly became crazy like an animal with sharp claws. Then she turned into a crow and tried to fly. You're lying, huh? That's a good story. I'm not that clever. But it's not true, right? See? There. Huh? Listen. Can you hear that? They say that when a witch sinks into the water, well, that's just the beginning. So why are you here? W would you mind watching the scientists while I go look? Please, thank you. All right, I'll guard him. And I'm a busy man. Understand that. I'll be quick. Do just stay there. Time out. Don't! He's joined the others. You Bruce. should run that bias for you. Go along the swamp. I've got your things from the boat. You'll get wet, but it's better than being burned alive. Paisi. Paisi and Averco. If we don't stop them, a lot of villagers will die. They're fanatics. I understand. Be careful, Yavto. May God be with you. This woman may be a witch. Let rightful punishment pass without stones cast from our hands. It's very simple. If she floats, she is a witch. There is no other way. Brothers and sisters, I call on you to cut this disease out of our hearts. Everything is ready. I'm nearly finished. A truth! A truth! The way! Let me die. No! I killed her! I killed my darling! I killed her! It'd be best if I just disappeared! Patrus, what are you talking about? Disappeared? Oh, my brute disappeared? You disappeared? I don't understand! Gone in a second. Without even a trace! No, 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 no. Where's the body? Where's the grave, huh? There isn't. There isn't. It doesn't Listen exist! To Listen to me. Stop. Listen to me, Patrus. We've got one chance to save this girl. One chance. You understand me? I know what you saw in the swamp. What? You saw a sheep's head. With horns. No more. No monster. You're, you're, you're simple peasants. You create these monsters and then you scare yourself half to death. Of course, it can only be... Put on the sheepskin. Show yourself. I'll chase you. Lead everyone to the church. Bring them there. I never thought I'd witness such vicious stupidity. I tell you, we must strengthen our hearts and prepare ourselves all to show no mercy. Catch me! Oh! I shot V! Doesn't look I like shot me. V! I shot V! Oh, 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 oh.
Looking for these, huh? You tried to kill me, didn't you? Up there on the dome. Didn't you? Steal my work and escape any punishment. You want facts? I'll give you facts. You liked Sotnik's daughter. You liked her a lot. But when you realized she was out of your league, you attacked the poor girl, raped her, and left her for dead. As she lay there dying, she hoped that her attacker, being forced to pray over her dead body for three days and three nights, would repent and confess. But not you. He knows who wears the sheep's. Those were the last words she said. Sheepskin is what she meant to say. And you, you terrorized the village for a whole year. And right now, as we speak, another innocent girl will be murdered because of you. Well, I won't let it happen. Your secret will be revealed once and for all. What do you want from me? Get up! You won't leave me. Oh, I'm tired. Where'd you get that? Where did you get that belt? You won't believe me. Where did you get it? I got it when it snapped off your map case. As I hauled you out of the swamp. Lies. I told you you wouldn't believe me. So what about this? Why did you steal my maps? It was my only chance of survival. <laughs> With your map, I could get away. Where else would I go? To the seminary, so everyone could ridicule me? Accuse me of crimes I didn't commit, like killing Ponich. Look! It's the devil! Oh. Always. It's me, Homer. Don't run away. So, it was you who set Iverko and Dorish at each other's throats. They were too greedy. Wait, help me understand. Why did Panochka want you to pray over her body? Why? A year ago, me, Gorovitz, and Halyava completely lost our way and found ourselves staying at the water mill by the swamp. <laughs> that is my wreath you found. What's your name? I'm Homa. Philosophy. Uh, no, I'm, I'm a student of philosophy from the seminary. You may be a Christian student from the seminary. But 
We too have our powerful ancient tradition. <laughs> I have decided. I will take you, my destiny. And you're supposed to love me truly forever. the sheepskin. I was sure Nastusia would think I was the one who attacked Ponichka. In gratitude for saving her, she fed the monster for over a year. And I've been praying for Ponichka's soul ever since. Only the first three nights were terrible. And when the third night was over, I was paralyzed from fear from what I had endured in the church. It was then at daybreak that he came. I've heard enough about V. No, he's more terrifying. Who? Who was it? It's him! <laughs> Just lure the villagers away, and she'll be fine. I'm coming, Astucia. Monster, look who's playing games. Well, Homer, you never saw it coming, did you? You like it there with that dead flesh? If you'd have died, all of this would have been much simpler. I don't know how, but you survived. I only meant to scare her into disguise. Oh, how she tempted me. Seduced me too. How she moaned. How the fire raged in her black, devilish eyes. It wasn't I who sinned. She was the temptress. It's the tempter who sins, not the one who was tempted. Somebody help me. Don't bother shouting out. No one will hear you. And if they do, they're too superstitious to come up here. Where have you hidden my gold coins? Astucia needs me. Let him go. Or your head will say goodbye to your shoulders. Petrus, run. Save her now. <laughs> Want a miracle? No problem. I make miracles all the time. For many years I traveled Europe, and I learned what was needed to start a new religion. And scientists like you created tools to help men like me take charge. I am the new messiah! Now you die. As a priest, I should give you a chance to repent. Read a prayer for the dying. Our Father, who art in heaven. Our Father, who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy name. Nastusia! I want you to understand, scientist, that your life isn't in the hands of our Lord above, no. Your life is in my hands. I am the one who decides who lives and who dies. A curse upon you! Here you go. 
going about your business, woman. You know the young Daniel? I have a confession. I'm ashamed to say that I severely misjudged your father. Believe me, and you will be proud of him. These are his letters to your mother, hmm? which I intend to publish so that the world will see how wrong it is to judge a man as rashly as I did. Hmm? I burnt poor Bruno at the stake when he said the world was round. Now, you hang on to these, leaving me. Jonathan. There's another pigeon. Now, we're going to see how the story ends. Where are you going? Up there. Aren't you afraid? A real Cossack doesn't fear anything. I am the one who decides who lives and who dies. You might as well be shouting fire from the watchtower. The whole neighborhood can hear you. A curse upon you! Miracle has happened. I feel the breath of God. His touch, which has changed my fate. Never before have I felt anything like this. All my life passed before my eyes, and I thought, what will I leave after I depart this world, my dear? I want us to have a child. <laughs> there you are. Your master and I were such good friends. <laughs> Quiet! <laughs> Evil was punished. I received a worthy payment. Look, there's Sotnik's money! <laughs> well, is it enough for you now, Overko? It's my money! Mine! <laughs> Petrus, help me pack. The body and soul of Panochka are now both at peace, and her father's spirit is at ease. And Homer, I am probably similar to this seminary student with our scientific skepticism. Fortune chose me especially Come for on. this godforsaken place. To finish the story that started with him. I told you, it's definitely magic. Move. Let me through. Where's the steam, Taras? That's it. It's amazing that the geniuses of mankind can either destroy or create, depending on who they follow. We'll have moving images that will bring far away cities and people to us all.
Now that my fear is vanquished and my cold scientific mind can again analyze my feelings, I can confirm that all of the fantastic events of the last days are nothing more than a figment of people's collective imagination. Something which is still little studied by modern science.